What is up, YouTube? It is Dolly back in the house again. Okay, today, if this story couldn't get any crazier, but first, make sure you give this video a like, sub up if you haven't yet, and of course, ring the bell for notifications. I want to thank everybody who has been leaving all the comments today. This is what I'm doing. I'm giving away some Dolly merch, a Dolly hoodie, to somebody who likes this video, shares this video, and leaves a comment in the comments down below after the video is over. Okay, so, three people dead. Kansas City fans froze to death, mysteriously, okay? A guy's home. Let's break it down just in case you don't know the story. If you're just tuning in or you live in a cave, and haven't heard of this. Five people were partying at a house for a football game. Kansas City versus the Chargers. One of the five people get up and leave. He leaves his four friends there. They're watching Jeopardy. It's just a normal night. Okay? So he leaves. But then something strange happens. Nobody hears from the other three people that are in the house. So one of their family members starts blowing the, the person that owns the house up. Jordan, which we're finding out, is really not that close of a friend to some of them. Okay? They don't know him very well. They're calling him, posting things, and he's not replying. So the fiancé goes over there. Okay? Literally beats on the door, and no one answers the door she breaks into the house, and in the picture, you can see where the screen window had been removed, and she goes into the house, and she discovers on the back porch of that house a dead body. Of course, she calls authorities. They locate two more dead bodies. From that point, everybody starts the speculation. What has happened to these three people in the yard? A lot of people think it has something to do with the guy, Jordan, that lives in the house that acted so strange. So he never even heard the people break into his house. He never heard nobody beating on the door. He didn't reply to any messages. But he heard the police show up, which seems so strange, so strange. What makes it even stranger is his lawyer constantly is changing the story. He'll come out and say one thing, and then he'll come out and say something different. He came out and said that he seen the three people leave the house. Then he came out and said they didn't leave the house. He said he didn't see their vehicles in the yard. And then he said he didn't think nothing of seeing their vehicles in the yard because his friends leave cars there all the time. So the lawyer has said so many inconsistent statements in this case it's unreal like i don't know where he got this guy but this story definitely is not adding up and the internet is screaming foul play well i know i'm screaming foul play because three people don't just drop dead under these circumstances now we've heard rumors about drugs and things of that nature. Were there drugs involved? Some people even said that Jordan is a mad scientist. Okay, a mad scientist. And he may have allegedly given these three people something. I've also heard rumors that the person that left may have supplied them with something that may have took their life. Now, I don't know if that's true. These are just internet rumors. But the facts are this. This man had to have known these people were in his yard. Now, the family has came out and said they believe they may have seen something. Something that Jordan may have been working on. Something they may have not have seen. And they believe that Jordan is responsible for the deaths of their family members. So, did Jordan... Was Jordan working on something like top secret that nobody could see? Because he really is a scientist. Or, and why did he not 
look for his friends whatsoever. So the family is outraged. The family is screaming, somebody needs to go to jail. Somebody needs to go to jail. Now, I've also said it too. Like, there's no way he didn't know that these bodies were in the backyard. He has uh, pets. But them pets just happened to be at a family member's house over them days. So he didn't have to let the pets out. Now, he's in his room in his boxers, drinking wine, headphones on, dancing around the room like Buffalo Bill. Okay, I, I might have added the dancing around the room like Buffalo Bill. But you know what I'm saying. It's a little creepy that he's been friends with these people since junior high school. And he ain't tried to help look for them. He ain't reply back to anybody. And the fifth person has spoke out and said, that don't make sense. He should have replied. They should have replied, he don't know what happened. Like I said, if anything, this man needs to be charged now with not reporting a death. Even in his house, if he looks out the window, the kitchen window, or any window in his house, he could have seen, in the back of the house, he could have seen them. If he would have looked out the front of the house, he would have seen their vehicles. His argument don't make sense. I believe there is foul play. Now, in the past videos, I've read every comment. A lot of you guys are saying, hey, this does not add up. Now, is the family right? Did Jordan have something in that house that he wasn't supposed to have? And did these three young men stumble across that? Now, I don't know, but the family feels like he knows more. These two people know more, and both of them have lawyered up. Jordan's lawyered up. The fifth person that was in the house has lawyered up. So I don't think we're going to get too much more out of them. And like I said, this lawyer, as far as in public, he has changed this story 50 times. Now, toxicology reports have not came back yet. Now, I'm pretty sure that three healthy young men did not die of natural causes all at the same time by freezing to death. People know, look, even if they got locked out the house, these are three grown-ass men. They could have opened the fence, walked to the neighbor's house, knocked on the door, asked to use the phone. The most suspicious thing to me, the smoking gun, the smoking gun to me is absolutely this, that their wallets and their keys were in that house. Now, why would three people go into a house and take their wallets out their pocket unless they've been robbed? And here's another one, another smoking gun for you guys out there. If it comes back and they got drugs in their system, okay, and these type of drugs, when you do them, they kill you almost immediately. So that means they would have done them there, okay? Where is the par paraphernalia from them doing these drugs? To me, that is a sign that a crime scene has been cleaned up because if it comes back that they have, let's say they have the big H or the big F, in their system, where's the stuff they did it with? That means Jordan was doing this with them, and he's had this time to clean this up, and this is why maybe he did not contact the family back. Maybe the family has kind of got this suspicious feeling because this just isn't right. Who does not go out and look in their backyard? Who don't look out their windows? And people can say, well, he didn't go out back. He didn't look out. He he thought they left the cars. Who? They would have left their wallets? What about the people calling him? What about the people posting on social media that he's missing? He didn't pay attention to any of that. Not one bit of it. So to me, I feel like, hey, he needs to go to jail for not reporting the death of his three friends that are laying out in his yard. 
Now, is the fifth person telling the truth? Did he really leave? And what sounds so strange to me is this also. This is five grown men, okay, sitting around watching Jeopardy. I find that a little strange. I don't, maybe they're big Jeopardy fans. Maybe they're like football fans and Jeopardy fans. But whatever happened that night, there's only a couple people that know that were in that house. And that is the person that owned that house who immediately, I mean, like he was packing while they were in the backyard to get his stuff out that house, right? He was already packing. Like the next day, he had a U-Haul ready to go. And a sad thing was, I watched one of the family members say, when they found these people, they couldn't immediately do the autopsy because these people were frozen. Okay, they were actually frozen and they couldn't even do the autopsy right away because of their condition. That is horrible as a family to have to hear, you know, and to think, they didn't sit there and do this. Now, we go into the question of this. If it does come back and there's drugs in their system, did they put those drugs there or did somebody drug them? Okay, so what did they do? Drugs and take their wallets out of their pocket? I believe they may have been drugged and their wallets were taken. For what reason a friend would do this? Don't, don't make a lot of sense. But look, we live in a world where crazy things happen and this might be one of those crazy things so to me it looks like either they were all doing it together and they passed away and he didn't and he drugged their bodies outside he's had time to clean everything up that's why when the police finally got there he went to the door that's why there's no signs of they didn't find any drugs they didn't find any drug paraphernalia but yet, these three men are going to come back dead from some type of drug. Was this something put in their drink by some mad scientist? You guys let me know in the comment box down below. And like I said, thank you guys so much for everybody that's been subbing up. Mad love to you guys. Help us hit uh, 50K. I can't do it without you. And like I said, if you like the video, you leave a comment and you share it on your Facebook I'm going to pick one of those comments out of the comment box and I'm going to give away a dolly hoodie just for you liking, sharing, and caring. How about that? Let me know what you think in this video. And as things change, of course, I will let you guys know. But the smoking gun for sure is their wallets were in that house and no man is going to go over their friend's house and take their wallets out their pocket and then go die in the backyard. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.